Hi, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about what are all the questions have been asked in previous year UGC NET examination in the topic of teaching methods or methods of teaching. Let us see first question. In which teaching method learner's participation is made optimal and proactive? Here in this question, the word optimal means most favorable and then the word proactive means energetic. So which one of the following method gives most favorable and energetic learners participation? If you are looking into the options, discussion method, bus session method, brainstorming session method. In these three methods, learner participation is stopped after accomplished the event. But in case of project method, let us consider the semester level project. So after completing the project, student must update or upgrade their project for a real life world. So this is the one of the condition in the project method. So in this project method, event is not stopped. It should be in process by upgrading or updating. So the learner must be engaging with their project for a long time period. So finally, we can conclude that learner participation is more optimal and proactive in project method. The correct answer is project method. Second question for a teacher, which of the following methods should be correct for writing on the blackboard? So whenever teacher use the blackboard during the teaching learning process at that time, which one of the following method is most suitable for that particular situation? Let us see the first option, writing the matter first and then asking students to read it. It is not the correct one. So second option, asking a questions to students and then writing the answer as stated by them. It is also not correct one. Option C, writing fast and as clearly as possible. It may be the correct one, but if you are considering the next option, writing the important points as clearly as possible. So whenever teacher writing important points in the blackboard, students can easily remind the entire information related to the important points by simply seeing the important points. So the correct answer is writing the important point as clearly as possible. Next question, which one of the following is the best method of teaching? In the given options, demonstration method is the best method of teaching because in this demonstration method, teacher should take demonstration on a particular topic before entered into the lecture because demonstration method is just followed by lecture method. So after done the demonstration, then the teacher explain about the topic in theoretical manner. For example, by applying an electric field in conducting material which is winding up by coil, it will be create magnetic field. So this particular things can be done by the demonstration through the an experiment or module at first and then it will be explained by theoretical manner, it will be more effective teaching method. So the correct answer is demonstration method. Next one, which among the following gives more freedom to the learner to interact? Here they are asking which one of the following method gives feel free interaction to the learner. So first option use of film. So use of film does not gives feel free interaction to the learner. At the same time lecture by experts. If experts taking lecture during that time students are hesitated to interact with the experts. So it is also not correct one. Next one viewing countrywide classroom program and TV. It is also does not gives feel free interaction to the learner. But in case of small group discussion, there are only six to eight participants can be participated in small group discussion. So students can easily interact with others in small group discussions. So the correct answer is small group discussion. Next one, which one of the following is not a type of experimental method? So first one, single group experiment. In a single group experiment, group of students are doing an experiment to find out same answer. But in case of parallel group experiment, more than one group of students are doing an experiment. Let us consider two groups. One group is finding out answer A, but another group is finding out answer B. So here the experiments are parallelly happened. That's why it is called as the parallel group experiment. Next one, rational group experiment. So in the rational group experiment, first of all, participants are predicted one hypothesis and then they are doing an experiment to find out whether the hypothesis is true or not. So it is also a group experiment. But the last option, residual group experiment. It is not a group experiment. It is called residual study. So in the residual study, we are finding out rest of the value from the actual value. For example, if you are going to find out the value as 10, 
the result is 8 means the rest of the value is 2 so here the value 2 is called residual value so the residual group experiment is not a type of experimental method so the correct answer is residual group experiment next one techniques used by a teacher to teach include here all the options are correct lecture group work self study interactive lecture all the options are correct so they are providing grace mark for this question this question has been asked in june 2015 next one match the following set one consist of methods of teaching and set two consist of instructional procedure so we have to match the correct one so first one lecturing so in the lecture method teacher delivers the content without having any material notes books anything so teacher simply taking classes with words so the correct option is third option content delivery in a lucid language lucid means clear so the content should be delivered in clear manner next one discussion in groups so in the discussion method topic oriented theme is given to the participants and then all the participant is going to be interact with each other so the correct option is fifth option theme based interaction among participants next one brainstorming method so in the brainstorming method students are allowed to produce a large number of ideas for example if i were an education minister let us consider this particular sentence is given to the students every students are thinking as they are education minister and then they will produce large number of ideas so the correct answer is second option production of large number of ideas next one programmed instruction method so in the programmed instruction method the individual students ability will be monitored continuously and then by recorded responses individual ability will be improved so the correct answer is small step presentation with feedback provided so the correct code is third one three five two one next one maximum participation of student is possible in teaching through so generally maximum participation is always ensued in discussion method so the correct answer is discussion method next one the best method of teaching is to the first option is import information so here the word import means giving so giving information is not only the best method of teaching so the second option and third option ask students to read books or suggest good reference material these are not merely a best method of teaching last one initiate a discussion and participant in it so this is the correct option next one maximum participation of students during teaching is possible through so we know that maximum participation is always ensued in discussion method but if you are looking into the option there is no discussion method but discussion method is comes under the inductive method because in inductive method students are learned from specific things to generalization so for example if you are considering the discussion method in this method students are interacting through the specific things and after completing the discussion method they can conclude the generalization so the correct answer is inductive method next one the best way for providing value education is through first one seminars or symposia on values so generally values are not handled properly in seminars and symposia next one discussions on scriptural text here the word scriptural means holy books for example bible bhagavad gita quran these all are the scriptural books by merely discussing on scriptural text is not providing a value education in proper manner next one mentoring or reflective sessions on values it is also not an effective one next one lecture or discourses on value so through the lecture or discourses on values it will be more effective method to provide the value education than the other three methods so the correct answer is lecture or discourses on values next one which of the following statement is not correct first option lecture method is one way process yes it is one way process because in this lecture method teacher is active and students are passive next one lecture method can develop knowledge it is also correct one next one during lecture method students are passive so it is also the correct one next one lecture method can develop reasoning in general decision making oriented methods or problem solving oriented methods or experimented oriented methods these all are the develop reasoning but in lecture method it is not develop reasoning so the correct answer is option d thanks for watching